Hello Leos, this is your reading for the remainder of June from June 15th through the 30th. Let's see what messages we get for you guys in love for the remainder of June. I hope everybody is doing well. Let's see. Leo. What energy is around Leos right now? Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you guys have just entered into this new situation of being single, actually. Um, but I'm getting that there is some, um, you know, you're not quite comfortable, you know, in this situation at this time, to be honest with you. I feel like you're working on yourselves. I feel like you're trying to get yourselves together financially even. Um, something's kind of throwing you off a little bit I feel could also be a Virgo individual that is significant to you guys that may be feeling this exact same way even okay let's see what's challenging you guys here for crossing you the six of wands energy hmm. I feel like this is getting others attention okay so being that you guys are in this at this point where you are single and I don't feel like that's something that you are necessarily like promoting at this point um, your challenge here is to be noticed to be seen um, by other people if it's one particular person that you want to be seen by you need to make your presence known this is your card here you can do this okay so that is what's causing you right now. Let's see what the underlying issue is here. What is the underlying issue for my Leos? The Page of Swords. There's something or somebody that you've noticed from the past. Um, and I don't think that there's been a full on conversation here. Okay. You've just kind of been observing things. Nothing has been spoken. No feelings have been shared, no no real communication um, between you and someone else. Very little, not saying no communication, but um, not the communication that should happen if you are wanting to move forward with someone or something, okay? Uh, that's ear energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Let's see, the recent past. What's going on in the recent past for my Leos? Oh, that's a lot of cards there. We're going to take a look at them and then we're going to put it back in the deck, okay? So what we have in the recent past was the Ten of Pentacles. This was a committed relationship, okay? And then we have the Magician energy. This is Gemini Virgo energy, Mercurial energy here. I'm feeling like there's a, there's a situation where you guys probably wanted to... Um, get out of to be honest with you there's a situation that i feel like you guys have gotten out of and now you're at this point with the two of swords and the two of pentacles energy of, of not really knowing what to do really not making a solid decision to stop juggling one way or the other i'm kind of feeling like there's a situation that you guys have gotten out of that you're kind of rethinking or um, you're not really sure if it was a good decision to get out of it, but there's another situation that you are contemplating getting into is what I'm getting from this, okay? Um, but you, you really are at a standstill, I feel, or you have been at a standstill. So we're going to put these back in the deck and let's see, we have Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Virgo energy, okay? So let's put these back in the deck and then we'll pull one card for the recent past. Let's see the recent past for my Leos here. The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. There was a karmic situation, I feel, that um, that was happening for you. Initially, I feel like uh, you felt that situation was a great opportunity for you. Um, whether it was financially, whether it was something that you just felt like was good for you. Um, but the will of fortune basically tells us that there is no constant here in this life but change. 
So in the recent past, there's something that has shifted and changed within you about a relationship, about a connection, okay? So that is what what's going on in the recent past. That's um, Jupiterian energy, Pisces, Sagittarius energy there. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> hmm. Crowning thoughts for my Leos. Crowning thoughts for Leos. I flipped over two cards here, your crowning thoughts. We have the King of Wands and we have Temperance. Wow. Hmm. You guys definitely want to be excited about the person that you're with. And I feel that you're kind of reflecting on the past and thinking, you know, maybe I was in that for the wrong reasons. Maybe I'm not attracted to that person. Maybe I don't have that spark for that person. Me being with somebody just because um, of the financial reasons or being with this person because they care for me is not the ideal situation for me long term. Um, that you need to be attracted to this person that you need balance and harmony in your life. I'm feeling like there's some there's something from the past that you guys are thinking about, something that you've been um, involved in, that one situation, like your situations have flipped between a past situation, maybe two past situations, I'm not sure. It could be a past situation and a new situation that's presenting itself. But I see you wanting to work things out with somebody now. This is what I'm seeing. It's like you're in two minds, basically. You're reflecting on past situations, relationships, and wanting to work something out. It's like you want you want to see if somebody feels the same way that you feel. This is Sagittarian energy right here. You're wanting to see if somebody feels the same way that you feel. But there's somebody that's attracted to you. It's like, um, I'm feeling like this level of um, confusion coming from you guys here. There's a level of confusion coming from you. And you're wondering, did you make the right decision? And basically parting ways from someone but at the same time I see you wanting someone else's attention it's it's a little confusing to be honest with you it's almost like you're leaving somebody for someone else leaving somebody for someone else is what I'm hearing okay let's see what's coming in for you guys here what's coming in for my Leo's the five of pentacles I definitely feel that you guys are leaving somebody for someone else this is Taurus energy and at this point you really don't care if you have any money at all as long as you and this person are together you guys can get through anything this is what I'm getting from you leaving it all behind and going with what's in your heart is what I'm getting okay let's see how is Leo feeling about this situation okay eight of Pentacles yes wanting to build wanting to work on this thing with this person also working on yourself. I see you guys wanting to care for somebody. I see a family unit involved here. I see you sharing your time, your energy, your resources, yourself with someone, investing in someone. You guys are wanting the Ten of Pentacles, I feel, but not with the person that you had it with. Not the person that you initially thought you were going to have it with even, okay? Again, Virgo energy here. I feel this Virgo energy for some reason is your energy. 
this energy of really wanting to settle down and have something substantial, something grounded, something stable. I feel this is your energy. Let's see. What is influencing Leo right now? What is influencing Leo? The Two of Pentacles. Making that decision. Stop juggling. You know that this is something that you have to do. You have to step outside of your comfort zone. You have to get things in balance. And look at this. Eight of Pentacles and a Two of Pentacles is a Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're striving towards. This is what you are looking, you are looking for. You see this in someone. You definitely see this in someone. Hmm. <clears throat> the hopes or fears of my Leos. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. This is fast movement here. So, I'm getting that you're hoping that you guys can come back quickly. I'm, I'm getting that maybe you guys are away from the person that you want to be noticed by. Maybe you're hoping that you can get there in time before they are noticed by someone else and is no longer an option. I'm feeling like you guys are hoping that it's not too late. Hmm. Maybe you guys live far away from each other. You have to travel to this person here. Let's see. What is the outcome for my Leos? What is the outcome for my Leos? Oh wow. Four of Wands. Here we go. Outcome is stability. Happy home marriage for some of you if not a marriage a happy long-lasting mutual mutually attracted relationship for you guys ten of pentacles four of wands this is the relationship that you guys want aries energy coming in for you guys once you make that choice okay so Aries, Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius and Aries is strong. Leo, Virgo energy is here. Again, I feel like that Virgo energy is your energy. Um, but Capricorn, I feel Pisces is here as well. Maybe Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.